back on March 23rd, India witnessed the Shaheed Divas or the Martyrs Day. On this day, a young lad of our soil was hanged to death by the British authorities under the charges of murdering a British officer, J.P. Saunders. Today we are not here to know why and for what reason he did what he did. But today, we will get to know about some of the lesser known facts and stories related to his life and also about where he got that feeling of courage and self-sacrifice for the betterment of the society and its freedom from the British rule in India. Bhagat Singh, born in Punjab province in present-day Pakistan, was from a family of revolutionaries. He was descended from a family of Khalsa Sardars who had fought in the Maharaja Ranjit Singh's army against the Pathans. His grandfather, Sardar Arjun Singh, planted a seed of nationalism in the blood of all the future revolutionaries in his family. Following this, Kishan Singh, father of Bhagat Singh, Ajit Singh, his paternal uncle, and Swaran Singh, his other uncle, were all actively involved in the agitations led by Lala Lajpat Rai. Now moving on to 13th April 1919, the Jallianwala Bagh massacre, which still sends shivers down the spine of every Indian. 12-year-old Singh was devastated at the sight of his kins being murdered barbarically. That incident hit him hard, to the point where he collected the blood-soaked mud of the bag in a glass bottle and worshipped it daily. This reminded him of what his ultimate goal was. Another interesting thing about Singh's personality was that he was a great actor who took part in several plays, which got him all the praise for his performances in Rana Pratap, Samrat Chandragupta and Bharat Durdasha, all famous plays of great personalities. His acting was an inborn talent which helped him to escape to Calcutta after the murder of Saunders by deceiving 400 policemen at the Calcutta station. He was so passionate about the fight of the freedom for his country that he, being a Sikh, even shaved off his beard and cut his hair. Singh was a well-read man with an insatiable thirst for knowledge. The fact that he was fluent in five languages is still alien to many. These five languages were English, Hindi, Punjabi, Urdu and Bengali. According to some findings, he has read over 312 books which included books of Indian origin as well as foreign origin. Being such a literate person, Singh had always appreciated the importance of the Hindi language in India. In 1923, in an article, The Problem of Punjab's Language and Script, he said, Muslims have adopted Urdu. Muslims totally lack Indianness. Therefore, they want to propagate Arabic script and Persian language. While failing to understand the importance of Indianness in the whole of India, they fail to understand the importance of one language, which could only be Hindi. This is why they keep repeating the demand for Urdu like a parrot and take an isolated position. Bhagat Singh was not just a mere revolutionary in India's fight for freedom. He was the igniting source for many. Even when he was serving in the jail for the charges of bombing the Central Legislative Assembly, he and his comrades did a hunger strike for a record 116 days. This strike was so severe that Singh had to be carried to the court handcuffed on a stretcher. The fact that Singh was hanged an hour ahead of the official time on March 23, 1931 infuriates every Indian soul. This was solely done with a fearlessness to the lowered British imperialism. Today, when people compare their mere acts of bravery to Bhagat Singh's, the only thought that crosses my mind is, do they really know who he was? Do they know what nationalism and self-sacrifice meant to him? Or are they taking his name just to seem intellectuals? This is because if someone really understood the fire that continuously burned in his heart and soul for his nation, would never do such acts of self-pity. He was the kind of person who instead of being hanged to death, wanted the British to just shoot him. He didn't just believe in the idea of freedom, self-sacrifice, courage or bravery. He lived all these up till his last breath. Today, such feelings of national pride and sacrifice are rare. And if found, they are unable to get proper direction in the present society. They may kill me, but they cannot kill my ideas. They can crush my body, but they will not be able to crush my spirit.
finding this story interesting then stay tuned with the cognizant crow for more such videos and never let your curiosity die Thank you.